Noel Gilbert, congratulations on 50 years making LNS bar feeders. It's an absolutely incredible achievement. How did it start? What's the history of LNS? So thank you very much to start with. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Uh, LNS, we started 50 years ago, as you mentioned, and it really started off a small workshop in Switzerland working for the watchmaking industry. So to automate manufacturing of small parts for the watchmaking industry. But then throughout the years, we grew. First of all, geographically, because we started off in Europe, grew to North America, and then we acquired a company in Asia. So now then we had a global footprint in terms of bar feeders. And then we continued growing, but through acquisitions of additional product families. So we started off with bar feeders, then we added chip conveyors through the acquisition of a company in the US. Then we acquired a company in Italy, Fox, making air filtration systems. And finally, five years ago, we acquired Chip Blaster in the US making coolant systems. And now we distribute those products around the world through our sales and service organization. And it's so important that you can offer these products around the world as yeah. standard for loads of machine tools. Yeah. But for some people, they might be seen as a bit of an afterthought. It's, oh, it's just a chip conveyor, it's just yeah. a bar feeder, it's just an air purifier or an air filter. Why, are these, why should these not be considered an afterthought? Well, they shouldn't, first of all, because the real objective is to automate manufacturing and to increase productivity. So it really needs to be considered since the beginning. And that's really how it started with bar feeders. And maybe some of the others were more considered as an afterthought. For example, a chip conveyor, you have to carry the chips out of the machine. But we brought new innovation and new technology. For example, the chip conveyor right here, where you have a first level of filtration, which in most cases is more than sufficient for most customers. And it helps increase uptime, it helps increase productivity. And so do the other products too. So really you have the machines running 24-7, that's the main objective, is really to have these machines running as much as possible, with no downtime, any kind of material, really to have them up as, as long as possible, and as much as possible. Absolutely, it's so important when a machine is actually, some people might think that's the biggest investment, so I've got to think the most about that, but if a bar feeder is down on a really expensive sliding head lathe, for example, yep. there's a lot of cost, not just in downtime of the machine time, but the parts you're not making as well. Yeah, exactly, that's really the thing. It's just to keep that machine running as long as possible, as much as possible, and even faster there, and faster than they used to run at least in the past because again with filtration we can increase with high pressure coolant you increase the feeds and the speeds and you really get more out of your machine so it's not just to keep them up and running as much as possible but really to get even more out of the existing machines they have today and it's not just the machinery itself that you get from lns yeah. the fact that you've been working in them worldwide for a very long time means that actually manufacturers that are looking to do uh some things like move production elsewhere can yeah. do that yeah yeah, exactly. We have customers who have, for example, set up a cell and qualified a cell in Europe or in North America, and they want to replicate the same cell in Asia or in Japan. And with our nine manufacturing facilities around the world, so we have three in North America, three in Europe, three in Asia, including Japan, we can really supply and service all of our products worldwide. And that works for customers that want to replicate a cell they have in Europe or in North America and Asia, but it also works the other way around where a Japanese machine tool manufacturer is going to package the peripherals with the machine and send them to Europe or to North America, and then we can service, we can support them really anywhere around the world with the spare parts, the service knowledge. And it's between that one-stop shop, so offering the full package of peripherals around the machine tool, and really the, the global network we have, we're really unique in that for those two perspectives. Absolutely. It's all these peripherals and the global perspective. And there's not many companies that can offer that kind of service. There's also yeah. a, an interesting way that you manufacture these for customers. That means actually you can react to their needs quite quickly. Yeah, and that's another reason why we have so many manufacturing facilities, why we have nine manufacturing facilities, is because it's only when the machine tool is sold that we know the right exactly the application and then what kind of bar feeder, what kind of chip conveyor, what kind of air filtration system, what kind of high pressure coolant system is required. So we don't manufacture anything for stock, it's all made to order and exactly configured to the customer needs. Perfect, so if you need absolute reliability for your machinery, make sure production can be as, as uh, have as much uptime as possible. LNS being up for 50 years and hopefully 50 years more.